Hi, I'm JP and you're watching The Coffee Channel. Today I'm going to be mixing these with this. Or more specifically, orange juice with espresso. Now, this trend has been all over TikTok and social media lately. Mixing espresso with orange juice sounds like a bad idea, but they're both not dissimilar drinks. They're both quite highly acidic. They can be quite sweet when it's a light roasted coffee. Now, we've tried various versions. We've tried various ratios of coffee to orange juice. And we think we've come up with the perfect recipe, which we're going to show you now. So for this particular recipe, you'll need two large juicing oranges. If you can get them and the time of year is correct, Valencia oranges are the best ones that you can get. Now, put those to one side, then you'll need a glass with plenty of ice in it. The espresso is going to be warm. You want to freshly squeeze the orange juice so that is not going to be cold. You want to drink the orange juice pretty much as soon as you squeezed it. So you need plenty of ice to make this a nice cold refreshing drink. Lastly, you will need some espresso. I would recommend using a natural coffee and a light roast one like this Araku, which is an Indian coffee, which will have flavours that complement the orange juice. And the natural coffees, they have that slight bootiness generally. They have lots of fruit flavours. This one has stone fruit, but there's a bit of chocolate in there as well. So you'll get this kind of chocolatey orangey flavour from the coffee. Now, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to slightly under extract this. I'm going to run a bit coarser on the grinder. So some of those fruit acid flavours come through a little bit more because they'll be disguised by the acidity and sweetness in the orange juice. And so we want some of these caramelly flavours to come out in the finished drink. So we're going to squeeze orange juice, we're going to make our espresso and we're going to put it in the glass. Okay, so we've made our espresso, we've made our orange juice, we've got plenty of ice. We're now going to add the espresso to the orange juice. And you can see it mixing there. Now we need to give it a bit of a stir to mix those flavours in and to make sure it gets colder. You could put this into a cocktail shaker actually, that's one possibility that might make it taste a bit nicer, but I quite like it with the ice as it is. Now let's give it a try and see how good this is. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. That's certainly the best one I've tried. I think we've got the ratio spot on here, and this is the important thing. It's about 100 mils of orange juice. So those two large oranges will make about 100 mils of orange juice. And then we've got around 38 mils to 40 mils of coffee. So about actually about 35, 36 grams of coffee in there of espresso. And it's that ratio that makes it taste nice. Now, some people might prefer it a little bit weaker, like they do with a latte rather than a flat white. But I like my milk drinks to be flat whites or piccolo, so I like it to be fairly strong so I can actually taste the flavour of the coffee. If you dilute it with more orange juice, you end up just tasting orange juice with a slight taste of coffee. With this, the two drinks balance each other quite well. So you've got sort of 140 mils of drink in there in total, and 40 mils of it is from the coffee, 100 mils of it is from the orange juice. So. That's the sort of ratio you'd expect with something like a flat white. So it's like a, a cold flat white type of recipe, but much fruitier. Let's try a bit more. Okay, a good thing here is we've under extracted the coffee a little bit, which means that it still cuts through with this orange juice. And there's this kind of caramelly back flavour there, which kind of complements the orange juice quite nicely. But there's also a bit of chocolate as well, a little bit of plum. It's actually quite a nice drink. And it's massively better than just your normal shop-bought orange juice with a normal espresso thrown in, which tastes okay, but this is a big improvement. Try it, give us your opinion. Do you have a better recipe? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Come back, we'll have more soon. Cheers.